Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper from a Nissan Qashqai from the year 2010 and up. As you can see on this car I'm going to remove the headlights and in order for me to remove the headlights you'll have to remove first the bumper. So in today's episode I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper and also I'm going to make another episode where I will show you how to remove the headlights on this car. First what you'll have to do is to remove all of this plastic from the top of the bumper. After that you'll have to go to the sides on each side you'll have to look uh, at this plastic part you'll have to pull it out and after that you'll see there a 10 mm bolt which you'll have to undo after that you'll have to remove this plastic part which goes from the fender over the bumper and you'll have to use a Torx 35 to remove this plastic part and after that you'll have to pull from the clips then you'll have to remove all the bolts which you'll find under the front bumper you'll have to use a 10 mm socket and also a Torx 25 and you'll have to do the same onto the other side After you're done with removing all the plastic clips and the bolts which are holding the bumper mounted onto the car, you will want to go onto the corners, right onto the corner of the bumper and pull it gently forward. In this way the bumper will come out very easy, don't pull it too hard because you don't want to break the plastic clips and I recommend you to not let it sit onto the ground because in some cases if your car also have headlight washers it will have some pipes and you don't want to put tension onto the pipes and break them. So make sure you disconnect everything, make sure you disconnect the fog lights and the pipes if uh, they are very short. In my case the pipes are long enough to, mm, to make me enough space to put the front bumper onto the ground so I don't have to worry about them. But I disconnected the cables from the fog light and after that I was able to put the bumper onto the ground. This is how it's looking. I removed the bulb itself because in this way it was very easy. I just turned it anti-clockwise and the fog light came out very easy. This is how it's looking with the bumper out of the car. This is also what you will have to do. If your headlight washers, uh, if your cables from the headlight washer are short, make sure you also remove the cable from right here, from the reservoir uh, on which you have to put the fluid from the washers. Okay, this is all you have to do. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, if you found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.